Before we get started in today's video, I just want to let you know it is now 10 times entries for the C5 Corvette. So as of today, as of this video, you will now be entered once for every dollar spent versus once for every $10 spent. It's 10 times entries. Get entered to win this C5 Corvette. Do not miss out on this opportunity. October 12th at 11.59 is the deadline. Jump into the description down below, buy some merchandise, get entered. And that car right there could be yours. What's up everybody? Welcome back to Horsepower Obsessed. Thanks for pressing play. Today we are going to be doing something very necessary with pretty much any C5 Corvette out there, but specifically this giveaway C5 Corvette. It's relatively simple and it's one that pretty much every C5 Corvette needs, so let's jump right into it. All right, guys, so we are coming up to the deadline for the giveaway of the C5 Corvette here. You guys saw the previous video where we got new seats installed, some Z06 grills in the front, some LED lighting, and it is absolutely perfected. So it's really only missing one thing, and that is, of course, you guys already know, the exhaust. Now, this is a stock exhaust for the C5 Corvette, but this one in particular, yeah, it's kind of wonky. Now, the reason I say that this is something all C5 Corvettes can benefit from is because I see this all the time. All the time on C5 Corvettes, these things are uneven like this. We have a new exhaust in the trunk that's gonna be getting installed here. So whoever is going to win this car is going to get one heck of a freaking C5 Corvette. It's gonna have an amazing sounding exhaust. It's gonna have an amazing looking exhaust, all kinds of LED lighting, new wheels, new tires. This thing is literally going to be a perfect example of the C5 Corvette. And the best part is guys, the mod don't stop there we still have at least one more video full of mods coming before the giveaway is live so stay tuned for what's additionally coming to the car but for now we're going to go ahead and jump in the car head up to our destination you know our destination has a lift we need to get this thing on a lift to get this exhaust installed but we're going to get some before and after sound clips before and after on the interior all that good stuff so for now let's get a cold start and a couple revs of the stock exhaust <laughs> it guys the stock exhaust is definitely not necessarily bad sounding but at the end of the day what we're really doing here is fixing those tips but anyway we're going to do one more sound clip while driving so you guys can hear the stock exhaust and then we're going to compare it to the new exhaust once we get to our destination and get this thing installed so just cruising around you can tell there's really not any noise at all coming from that exhaust if we actually give it a little bit of gas which we will do here in a second so So it's definitely not the loudest thing on the planet. And if you guys know anything about the car, it is a, obviously a 2000 C5. And in the 2000s, people weren't really super into loud exhausts, I guess. But yeah, this one's gonna get louder in a second. So let's get to the destination, get this thing on a lift and get this exhaust installed. All right, guys, so we are here at my sister's location. You might remember that from the previous C5 Corvette video. They own a little shop up here where they sell some used cars, but they have a lift. So we're here to put the Borla, Borla exhaust on the C5 Corvette, which is, of course, the giveaway car. You can win this car. Check out the link in the description down below if you wanna win this. We're doing a bunch of work to it to make it one of the best examples of a C5 Corvette. And this is the next step because you can see those stock exhaust tips are not the greatest. So we're gonna go ahead and get this thing in the air. We're gonna unbox the Borla exhaust and we're gonna get this thing installed. After this is on, we're gonna get some after clips. Stay tuned. So we got the car up in the air. The next step is to unbox the beautiful thing that Borla sent us. And that's gonna be the exhaust for the C5. This is the attack system. If you guys are interested, the part number for the attack system for the C5 Corvette is 140428. I'll put it in the description down below. This comes to us from our friends at RPI Designs. So you guys may know them. They've sent me a bunch of stuff for the C8, the C7. They're constantly sending me stuff for my Corvettes. So this is no exception. They hooked us up. So be sure to check them out in the description down below. All right, so we got some hardware. Obviously we're gonna need a little bit of that. And a hat, We've got a hat. Whoever wins the Corvette can have this too. You got the clamps for the exhaust tips. A whole bunch of packing material, pipes, and they're labeled left. I'm assuming the other one's right. I was right. Check it out. There's the R. Looks like pretty high quality stuff. 
I'm sure it's stainless. That's what all the exhausts are made out of nowadays. So here's the muffler itself, chrome exhaust tips. You guys know I'm not a giant fan of chrome, but on this color, silver and chrome actually look pretty good. So we're gonna keep it chrome. The attention to detail here is pretty crazy though. Just on the bracket itself, same Borla. So the first step is going to be to loosen the muffler hangers. You can actually see through the vents on the back there. There's two 13 millimeter bolts on each side. Once we loosen those, the mufflers are gonna start to droop a little bit. Then we're gonna move on to the next step. Next step is just to basically unbolt the exhaust from the stock H pipe or X pipe. And these are 15 millimeter bolts back here. Unbolt these and then you should be able to just take the exhaust out over top of the axle. So with the two bolts removed from the X pipe, H pipe area, as you can see, the exhaust is even more crooked than it normally is. So the next part is to actually get the entire exhaust canister muffler out. And it's kind of interesting because part of it's hitting the bottom of the bumper here. So you got to kind of finagle it out so it won't hit. So about halfway through, I realized we are in fact going to have to remove the sway bar. I know I mentioned earlier we were going to do it, but I was going to hold off just to make sure. And if we look over here, the pipe is hitting the sway bar. So the easiest way to do this is to remove the sway bar first. You can see we got the sway bar just kind of hanging there. Now at this point, we should be able to kind of move, maneuver this exhaust out of here, which of course is always easier said than done. That's one. Just so you know, if you're doing this at home, for some reason, the passenger side one is a lot tighter in there than the driver's side. Driver's side came right out. Passenger side's giving me a little bit of trouble. So both driver's side and passenger sides are out. Like I said, passenger side is going to be, for some reason, a lot more difficult than the driver's side. Driver's side fell right out. Passenger side took about half an hour to an hour to get it out. Now we're gonna go ahead and start putting in the Borla stuff. But the, the benefit to these ones is that they're separate from the muffler. So you have the pipe, the muffler, and then a couple clamps to hold it all together. And it's going to slide in over there, hopefully easier than the stock came out. It's in. All right, so the new pipe right up against the old X pipe here, you're gonna use the gasket that Borla provides. Put that in there, reuse the stock bolts, and we're gonna put it in kind of loose so we have a little bit of adjustability in the back to make sure that these tips are perfectly straight. I know how you guys like the tips straight, so we're gonna make sure that these things are lined up absolutely perfectly, and then we're gonna bolt it all down. So we got the passenger side pipe on, and these are relatively easy because they are separate pipes from the muffler itself. You just slide them up over the axle, drop it into place so we're gonna put the mufflers obviously connecting to these and up into the stock hangers in a second once we bolt these to the stock H pipe so like I said you want to leave everything kind of loose while you're setting everything up so we're gonna go ahead and stuck the gasket in here and start the bolt into the stock H pipe slash X pipe and we're just gonna start it just so it's held in place and ready to go once we get everything kind of in place we're gonna start tightening everything down once it's all lined up all right so next step is gonna be to go ahead and put the sway bar back in while everything is out of the way, we can make sure that we can get like an impact or something in there. You can do it if the muffler's in place, but it's easier this way. So we'll bolt this back in and then we're gonna start putting on the driver's side muffler. So with the sway bar back in place, we're gonna go ahead and start loading the new muffler up onto the driver's side. Relatively easy. The way that these are designed is just a slip fit. So now this will go onto the threads up here. <laughs> All right, so way up here, you can see the bushing that's holding all this together. It's two 13 millimeter nuts that will hold the entire exhaust into place. It's not super easy to do, so make sure you have at least one other person helping you to get that into place. So we got everything on the driver's side in place loosely, so I don't have anything tightened down yet. Nothing slid completely into place, but it is where it's gonna go, basically. So as you can see, if I push up on this pipe, there's still a lot of adjustment here. We're gonna make sure that these pipes are nice and straight for you guys. Well, whoever wins this car, you're getting straight exhaust tips. All right guys, we're gonna take a minute to do something a little bit different here. We're gonna take a break from the exhaust for a second because there was a company that sent me the little mirror plate that goes right here in between the exhaust tips. And of course it's chrome to help dress up what is otherwise kind of drab, I guess. I can't remember the name of the company. So uh, I will put it in the description down below though because they were very nice to send this to me and I've had it for a couple months now, but I was waiting to do my exhaust before I put it on. Once I get home and get to editing the video, I'll make sure that it finds its way into the description because it's definitely a piece you guys are gonna be interested in if you have a C5 Corvette. They send you a plate like this and it is covered with a piece of vinyl so underneath there is a mirrored piece of chrome and then separately the c5 emblem that will stick right in the middle of it and then this whole thing will stick right here so first i'm going to take an 
alcohol wipe, kind of just clean up this area. It is very likely dirty on your C5 Corvette as well. With that area all cleaned up, we'll take the mirror plate here, flip it around, and sure enough, there's some double-sided tape on the back. We're gonna remove that protective layer and stick it up on there. For this part, you're gonna wanna make sure that this thing is pretty straight on there. So we're gonna stick it right around here, I think. That is pretty straight, just like that. Now I'm just gonna put some pressure on it, make sure that this tape is activated. After that, we'll go ahead and remove the protective layer here, which is going to reveal a mirror finish. The next step is going to be to remove the protective layer from the back of the C5 emblem. And we're gonna go ahead and put it on this chrome piece here. Now, a lot of this is not necessarily gonna be visible once the exhaust tips are up there. So I'm gonna do my best to center this thing. So then we'll just kind of stick it down. There we go. All right, so we got the exhaust tips kind of lined up and we'll check that out. This is the first time that I've owned this C5 that it has seen straight exhaust tips. They look really good too. I like that mirrored C5 Corvette logo in there. Like I said, link for all this stuff will be in the description down below guys rpi designs provided the exhaust and i can't remember the name of the company that gave me the mirrored c5 corvette plate but it will be in the description below as well as you can see it's starting to get dark here so we're going to try to finish this up i'm probably gonna have to finish this video tomorrow but we are going to get a cold start tonight I know it's dark guys, but I am so freaking pumped about this. I'm in the car, I'm inside with the windows down. Listen to this thing. It sounds so much more Corvette and the tips are straight. So we're gonna wait until tomorrow to wrap this video up because I really want you guys to see exactly what's going on here. I want you to see these tips in the daylight. It is absolutely fantastic. I'm so excited about this. I will catch you guys in about 12 hours. All right, guys, we are back. It is the next day, and of course, it is raining here in Pennsylvania. What else is new, right? But we are still gonna be able to get a good glimpse at this exhaust and a cold start or two and some revving action. But guys, I'm looking at the back of this thing and it looks absolutely fantastic. I know the stock tips were crooked and you guys did not let me down. You never failed to mention it to me, but it was something that was needed. Even the little plate there in the middle, the car just looks that much better, that much cleaner. I love it. And it sounds pretty good. Now, I'll be honest, with you guys it's not a night and day difference the exhaust definitely sounds louder but it's not c7 or c8 corvette loud it is still pretty reserved for the car because the headers in the h pipe and everything still stock but at the end of the day it did make it a little louder it made it a lot nicer looking and it cleaned up the area in the back end here real nicely this car is looking absolutely phenomenal and it sounds the part now too anyway guys we are going to go ahead and do a cold start here and get some revving action for you guys so you can see exactly what it is you're going to Win. Like I said in the beginning, it is now 10 times entries. We have three days left before the giveaway is over, so I wanted to end this thing with a bang and, of course, give you guys as many chances to win as possible. So it is 10 times entry now, meaning every dollar spent is an entry. So if you guys haven't checked out the new merch, check out the link in the description below. I got two new shirts up for you guys, and they come in gray now as well. I know the merch has been a little bit slow, but now you got some new merch there, and it's 10 times entry. So jump in there, get some new merch, help support the channel, and get Get your chance to win this beautiful creature. It is October 12th at 1159 is when this thing is ending. So be sure to get entered before then. Anyway, let's hear some cold start action of the new Borla exhaust for the C5 Corvette provided to us from our friends over at RPI Designs. <laughs> guys so as you can hear there it is definitely better than the stock it's still not quite as loud as like the c7 or c8 like i was saying but at the same time it sounds much more like a corvette now and it looks the part so like i said guys we've done a bunch of mods already with the new side marker lights the z06 grills all the stuff that the top flight automotive has provided us and now of course we got rpi designs jumping in the game giving us the borla exhaust we got the black diamond wheels, of course. They're always the sponsor of the videos. You can check out all this stuff in the description down below, but also make sure you get your entries in before October 12th at 11.59 p.m. We wanna make sure someone wins this beautiful thing. And like I said, guys, the exhaust sounds great. 
but it also looks the part. I mean, look at that. I love it. It cleaned up that back end so nicely. It is fantastic. But anyway, guys, that is gonna do it for today's video. So if you liked what you saw, please smash that thumbs up button. Check out the description, get entered to win this thing, and I will catch you guys in the next upload.